Hey guys, Momo here, back with another video, and in this video, we're doing something a little different. Uh, today we are playing the Stanley Parable. So, oh, that's weird. That's so weird. It, it goes... Okay, so, yeah, uh, there's a lot of weird stuff that happens in this game. Um, including that, I did want to... See if I can change the settings a bit. Okay then. Um. Yeah. So I think we should just get on with the game. I've never played this before, so um. Yeah, I'm a little excited. Uh, but I hear it's a really like deep game, and it goes into a. Lot this of is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, uh, we're playing now. Um, I'm controlling it. Uh, yes, yeah, so... Um... Yeah, as I was saying, I've never played this game, so... I think I'm in for a surprise. Uh, wow, this is... Very... All of his co-workers oh. were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Huh. No matter okay. how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, this is oh, wait, there's something here. Oh, I just turned it off. Um, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. Okay then, well, um, I think we just go, is there anything else? Can you open these? Okay. Alright, let's go to the next room. Okay, th this, this like blank white window, it, it's really creepy. It's, oh. okay. So it doesn't look like I can jump or anything. Okay, this is weird. Um, is there any? There are computers like on, and you can click them to turn them off. I don't know what that means. I'm just gonna uh, see if I can find all those, and uh, I'm I'm gonna turn them off. Whoa. You can't squat, but, but you can't jump or anything. Uh, okay. I'll just um, keep going. Then. Why are there windows everywhere? Like inside of these other rooms, inside of a hallway. It's just when weird. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 
should I enter the door on my left? I don't know if I should. I think this guy's evil. The guy that. The British guy. Mmm. I'm gonna. Mmm. I'll go for this one. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley yeah, yeah, knew it yeah. perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah. That. Uh. Can I not op like open any of these doors? I guess not. Okay, I'm gonna keep going then. I'm up in here. Okay. So you can't really interact with much here. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Can I just stay here forever? I, I don't know if I want to go any further. This is kind of creepy. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Yeah, it is really worth it. Yep, I can just sit here all day. At this day. point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Wow. Wow, that's real nice. Uh, I don't know. Should I stay here more? Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's just the thing the game's trying to say. But I kind of want to see if I can stay here any longer, um, see if anything else will happen. Um... Yeah, okay, I don't think anything else is going to happen. All right, but at go. last, he'd had enough of the amazing room, and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Oh, this door. Okay. Ooh. Another choice. I can take this door, or I can take that door. I'm gonna, uh, take this door. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Oh no, I got locked out. Okay. Um, what am I... Whoa. Whoa. Okay, uh, do I stand on here? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's yeah, someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay, should we give him a chance? I don't know. I kind of just want to keep, like, not listening to him. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Blue door. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley Blue walked door. through Blue the door. red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Mm. You see? There's nothing here. 
I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Ooh, we got a third option in the first room we were at. Um, okay, I could take that door. I could take this door again. Or I could take this really interesting, um, weirder door that I've never seen before. I'm going to do this one. That's creepy. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Hmm. Yeah, this is a toughie. I don't know. Would I rate it a one? A two? A three? A four or a five. Um, I really am curious to find out what's on that other side of the door. But I feel like we're not going to go there. Uh, I'm going to rate it a four. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Ooh, look, they have a new thing here. Interesting. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this door. I've never taken this door, so... Oh, we're, we're now, back here. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, no. I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Oh, wow. It's actually, um, loading a new game. In this game, the baby crawls oh. left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh, this is so annoying, but it's so... No! You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you oh, hate babies no. or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <clears throat> On, I will only okay, we're to back. Fulfill a um, greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Where, where's that? This will go here. No, 
here. And then... Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and wow. make yourself comfortable. Look, it's Minecraft. We all know this game. We've all played it. All right, Isn't let's it grand? get inside this Isn't awesome it house. It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Oh, okay. this is cool. Oh, they even have the music. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's like Minecrafty music in here. Oh, this is so weird. Um, but this is like old Minecraft. Okay, uh, we're gonna go in the cave now. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. I have not. Alright, we're going deeper in the cave. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Alright, well, that was fun. That was awesome. That was Minecraft. Um, inside of a Stanley Parable. That was weird, though. I've never played Minecraft. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Okay, we're inside a portal. Apparently, um, I was not expecting this when I got this game. Uh, okay, so Ooh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Okay, we need. We just need. I think we're supposed to put the cube Genius. on. Oh, on the thing. Okay. Let me walk through here. Yep. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. Oh. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. Whoa! Whoa. Okay. Uh. What's this? I don't know what just happened. Okay, this is a little creepy. Now we're in a dark hallway. Um, I haven't seen any other life form. Ooh, there's light. I'm gonna follow the light. Okay. Let's go through here. Go in here. Ooh, this is weird. Okay, um, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay, oh, what do I do? Um, maybe I just have to click the blue screen, maybe? Um, okay, let's go back. Something just happened. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. 
Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Well, that was dark. Um, speaking of dark... Oh, never mind. It's loading. Okay. Yeah, I was not expecting this. When I played this game, I was not expecting to play a weird Minecraft in a portal, but I guess that's what happens when you play Stanley Parable. Um, so are we just back where we were? Yep, we were. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end the video here. Uh, and then... Um, yeah, I might come back and do this again, and uh, next time I'll probably just listen to everything he has to say, and actually do it, but uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.